turn out I never made a tutorial for assignment 60 and 61 and thanks to Ivan he reminded me today so there you go assignment 61 uh, let's start with assignment 60 Tesla versus Toyota so I'm gonna put you on a road and there is of course Tesla well let's call this one Toyota and there is a um, red light and then uh, there is a Tesla waiting here at the red light uh, Tesla okay and um, the Toyota is 15 meter behind the Tesla right and the Toyota is moving with constant velocity which is 11.11 .11 meter per second right and Tesla's velocity is zero the Tesla Tesla is waiting at the red light but when red turns green Tesla accelerated with three meter per second square okay so at location number let's say location one Tesla uh, and Toyota they meet in fact Toyota passed Tesla so Toyota passed Tesla at location 2 uh, Tesla passed Toyota Tesla passed Toyota so what's going on Although the Toyota passed Tesla at location one and location two, Tesla passed Toyota at location one at the distance of Tesla is going to be equal to distance of Toyota. And location two, distance of Tesla is going to be equal to distance of Toyota. However, the velocity of Tesla is not going to be equal to velocity of Toyota and velocity of Tesla is not going to be equal to velocity of Toyota over here and also acceleration of Tesla is not going to be equal to acceleration of Toyota at this location and acceleration of Tesla is not going to be equal to acceleration of Toyota at this location now let's find those values and how can I find these values let's start our conversation let's do Tesla over here and Toyota over here so Tesla uh, D is equal to VIT plus half AT square and let's make the Tesla red all right so D is equal to VI is zero because uh, it's, uh, it's at rest when the light is red however when right light turns green from red to green uh, the Tesla accelerate therefore Tesla will have some velocity and Tesla would be speeding up it if Tesla never accelerate the Tesla never gonna be moving and never gonna be speeding up Tesla will be speeding up because it would be accelerating when the red turns green so half 3 T squared so D is 1.5 T squared now for Toyota D is equal to V A T plus half A T squared now VI, VI of course 11 T and this is acceleration is zero is constant velocity constant velocity right now one more thing you have to pay attention to and that is negative 15 why negative 15 because this is 15 meter behind the Tesla so you have to make sure you acknowledge that now you're going to make this one equal to this one why is that because you want to find the time over here and you want to make this one equal to this one why is that because you want to find the time time when their distance should be the same right but not velocity not acceleration in case in fact we know the velocity of tesla over here uh, acceleration of tesla acceleration of tesla is three uh, acceleration of Tesla is 3 but acceleration of Toyota is not 3 acceleration of Toyota acceleration of Toyota is 0 acceleration of Toyota is 0 right of course uh, uh, velocity we know velocity of Toyota velocity of Toyota velocity of Toyota is 11.11 .11, and velocity of Toyota over here 
Toyota over here is 11.11. .11. We have to find velocity of Tesla here, and we have to find velocity of Tesla over here. If Tesla is speeding up, Tesla's velocity is zero here. It's gonna be more than zero here. It's gonna be way, way more than zero over there. So that's a type of thing you should be expecting, all right? Okay, so now what are you gonna do? You're gonna write uh, 1.5. So you're gonna write D is equal to D, right? D is equal to D. So 1.5 is 1.5 t squared is of course equal to 11.11 .11 t minus 15 all right minus 15 all right so now uh we're gonna put it over here so we're gonna move everything to the left side so 1.5 t squared minus 11.11 .11 t plus 15 is equal to zero so we're gonna use quadratic equation. So minus b plus minus b squared minus four ac over two a, right? So now we're gonna plug in. So b is, uh, this is negative, this is negative. So 11.11, .11, of course, plus minus 11.11 .11 is equal to one, two, three, minus four times a is 1.5, and c is 15 divided by, of course, 2.2 times 1.5 which is 3 okay now you have 11.11 .11 plus minus you have 123 minus 90 uh, because um, uh, 4 times 1.5 times 15 is is uh, is 90 right yeah so 90 123 90 minus 90 is 33 square root of 33 is 5.3 uh, 5.4 right divide by 3 so it's give you uh, 2 because this quadratic is give you two solution one is 1.8 okay and one is 5.6 all right 1.6 and 5.6 so the time over here is 1.8 and time over there is 5.6, of course, right? Okay, so now we uh, we know the time. Now we can find the distance, distance over here, because the distance, once we know the time, distance is super easy. So how can we find the distance? Well, we can use these two equations to find the distance, remember? So the D is equal to 1.5, 1.80 squared, and that's going to give you the distance. And D is equal to 11.11, .11, uh, 1.8 minus 15, and that's going to give you the distance, right? And that is 4.75 and 4.75, right? Okay, so distance is 4.75. Both equations are going to give us the same distance. Now let's see how we're going to find the distance over here so d is equal to 1.5 and this is of course you have to plug in the time and the time is 5.6 squared and that is 47.5 so over here d is equal to 11.11 .11 and 5.6 minus 15 is also going to give you is not going to give you it's not going to give you actually 4.7 it's going to give you 19 point something 19 point something minus 15 is going to be 4.7 so this is also 47.5 okay so both going to give you the same thing so we're going to write 47.5 right so what did you learn from this uh, problem you learn from this problem is that when you move with constant velocity that means you can use a mathematics to model it a linear equation when you accelerate like Tesla you can also use the mathematics quadratic equation to model it and then that allow you to solve any type of problem you want now the next part we're gonna convert we're gonna try to understand the graph of this problem this is the algebraic way of solving this problem the next we're gonna do the geometric way of solving this problem of course we're gonna get the same answer so that going to take us uh, assignment number 16.